and a happy Thursday to happy everyone. Happy Thursday. This is P over here. M over there. Patricia. Mariah. And, and together, together we are PM Artist Studio. I don't know what she's doing. It's really hard to follow these days. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm taking care of business. <laughs> that was the song. Howdy, howdy, everyone. Be sure to say hello in the chat so we can say hello back. Otherwise, we just see you as a number. We don't want to just see you as a number. We want to say hello to you, welcome you, love on you. While you're doing that hello -sy business, give the thumbsy upsies. That's, you know, down below where you say you like the video. It's very helpful at the very beginning of this, you know, your stream. We are live. Now, if we aren't live, then we're on a replay. We apologize. We're still very happy that you're here. Do leave a comment down below. Those are extremely helpful. And also the way that you enter the 5,000 subscriber giveaway. When we hit 5,000 people, subscribers, already friends, already friends, we will then be doing a giveaway. We have quite the little haul of stuff that we're finding around here. So it's gonna be fun. I'll tell you that. <clears throat> Be sure to set your chat to live chat so that way you see all the fun that's happening over there. Sometimes it gets a little bit funny over there. You know, not even like there's some yeah, funny business. Ha -ha. Well, sometimes it's aha. -ha. Sometimes it's aha. -ha. Sometimes I'm like, hey guys, what are you doing? <laughs> sometimes I can't read I'm, the chat. I'm, washing, I'm like, I don't know I'm if that's appropriate. <laughs> washing my glasses. Uh, what else is going on? All right, and if you want to know more about that 5,000 uh, subscriber giveaway, do uh, watch for Nightbot and our mods. They will be prompting Nightbot to drop those links. You can click over there, then you can learn all of the information. If you want to know more about all of that, there is additional information in our Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artist Facebook group, which will also be one of the links that are dropped periodically throughout the stream. Oh my goodness. Prompted by our lovely moderators uh we have the december header thing going on over there in the makers we have if you want to you know partake in that you post you put the hashtag again information at the top the featured part of makers joni's postcard swap has been full swing have you been over there to check I, your I, partner yes it's gretchen okay and i have contacted gretchen and she has contacted me fantastic and you're doing the I, do. I am doing the do, but I do have a question. What's your question? Well, what is our theme, or do we have to have one? No, no, Joni. Joni's our theme. Joni, you here? I think she might be here. I'm going to say hello to everybody here in just a second. I'm going to make it through my little list of things. The Makers Creative Collab. Nearing Needlework. That is going to be next Saturday. My YouTubers, my channel people... Have your links to me by Wednesday, please. So I don't have to beg and, you know, plead with you afterwards. And think bad thoughts about you. I don't wow. Know. Well, maybe I do a little bit, but, you know, it's like, you know, like, come on now. Sugar. I know. I, I, I approved three different people. Oh, we do it. We have new people in makers. We have new Very people. Very exciting. All right, let's say hello to everyone. Let's go to the participants. Woo, we got quite the crew here. All right, I'm going to try to get through this real quick. Let's do it. Ready? We've got Acme, Anne, Art Curious, that's Miriam, Heather, Candy, oh Celeste, you are new, welcome, Carrie Griffiths, Colleen, Care, Crafting with Kim, hello and welcome, Darcy, Dana, Deb, Diane, Gretchen, Jacqueline, Joni, Carla, Lee, Martha, Mary Ann, Mitzi, Nadine, Nightbot, she's the one you want to watch for, she has the most information, prompted by our moderators, Panka, Sonia, Ricky Nordmeyer, Sherry, Stephanie, Susan, Susan, we got Susan Anderson, and we got Susan Dufresne, and then we have Trish Coogan. All right. There we go. All right. If I didn't say your name, that's not because I didn't, you know, because I don't love you or anything. It's because either I didn't see it because you popped in later or whatever. Hi, hi, hi Diane. Okay. I wonder about Joni Sorsen. I have a feeling P was going to need a little guidance on that. <laughs> Okay, oh, here we go. Also, P, you will not trade with one person. Read the post telling you that sent you the postcard. Each to the three names listed below you. Oh. The three names listed below me in the long list? <laughs> I just heard from Gretchen. I didn't hear from anyone else. Anybody?
anybody that's partnering with P, you may want to really reach out to her. Yeah, like the those little message things over on the side and the <laughs> Facebook thing. Because I am not getting involved. Hello, Constance. <laughs> that's so rude. I would take care of you, Mariah. Hello, long day. I know you do, but I, I just, I, I got lots. What are your okay, Thursday? Okay, well, y'all all, all I, I don't know who you are yet, but I, I will go back and look, and I don't think I got that. I knew I was supposed to do three postcards, but I was just going to send them all to Gretchen. <laughs> Gretchen, you mean y'all three? I have to disperse her, her postcards for her. <laughs> Dear Lord. I haven't even started on my postcards yet. <laughs> I, I do have them cut, though. For Yeah, I have them ready just in case I have a... You know, I still have some from before. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, I want to look at those. Mm -hmm. They could. might not be done. I might need to do something else totally. to them. Yeah. I mean, you haven't looked at them in over a week, so. <laughs> yeah. I looked at my tags again, and I worked on my tags. I, I, she could just, she could pedal. She could pedal for years. <laughs> if it doesn't go under glass, I'm still working on it. And even then, she's like, can I open that up? Please? Look at that. I need to, that, why didn't I do that there? Uh-huh. She does that. Yes, okay. Yes. Yeah. Thursday thoughts? Are we doing it at the end? The beginning? Yeah, we are. Because I, I just want to jump right in, and I have some brilliant thoughts. But I think I really like that ending. whole ending thing. I think it was just very cool. Okay, I'm gonna move this light a little bit. And I, I feel yeah, like it's kind of it is in kind your, of in my face. In your business. Yeah. Thank there you. you. Go. Well, you know, I've just. I mean, look at this. Are right, is it topside? I will be topside in just a second. Here we go. Topside. Because I've been watching other videos. And the re there's many reasons that I do. We want, to know, we want to know what you people are up to. I do. And I just, you know, sometimes I get kind of bummed out. And, you know, I feel like, gosh, I just hey, keep Sandra. doing the same old thing. And who wants to watch the same old thing all the time? I and, feel like we're in a little of a... Yeah. Hello, Michelle. Now, but I think today's going to kind of jog us out a little all bit. Right. Fantastic. I, I really honestly feel that way. And I'm... Did you I steal really my sticky notes. Pardon? Did, I think the baby took those and then no, you No, you gave up. me some. You gave me two packets. Oh, that's And I still haven't used up my whole first Hey, Debbie. One. I've still got hot pink and or salmon and purple in my door, drawer. That I knew where it was is absolutely amazing. It is. Um, <clears throat> okay. So what I want to say is I want to say the two sets, actually all of the sets, of stencils have really kind of sparked a new I don't know you know I've just been getting different ideas you got your and, bell on today pardon your bell yeah <sighs> <clears throat> anyway so yes I mean I've even I've even given Archipenko new thoughts oh. and the new thoughts came from who sent me the the ex their their Joanne. trinkets Jolynn, thank you for the trinkets. If any of the rest of you need, you know, are, are really at a loss at what to do with your trinkets, you don't have a special, you can send them to me because here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pay Archie Pinko, listen to this now, gold. Oh, this is new information to me. And then I'm going to start gluing these little trinkets. We no longer refer to them as burgers. Right. Paint bookers. Yeah. These are trinkets. And I'm going to glue them on. I think it's going to be texturally just absolutely stunning. <laughs> and I think the gold peeking through, you know, all the little circles of paint. It's just going to be... I, I'm, I'm pretty jazzed about oh, that. Uh, Candy says, yes, there is a theme. Autumn, fall. It came in while I was reading the names. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah, Autumn, it's during that time fall. I usually don't... Okay. She's going to write that down. I'm going to write, write that down. Oh, and I, I do I, I do have, I was watching, and I asked Mariah about her, and she Ooh. she knew she knew who she was, and I don't know there was whether she reached out to her. I didn't see any of our people there, but I really didn't, didn't look. I, I got distracted, and then, okay, fall. Yeah, and I'm a little afraid here because it looks like one of our... So the theme is what again? Hold on. I'm going to switch our cameras around for a second because it looks like one froze up and I don't really know what to do about that. Hmm. Boy, such technical difficulties here lately. I do not understand. Well, let's see here. All right, that's a 
this top cam, the top side. So I need to check my people. Hmm. It's still a frozen. So there should be three people that I'm sharing with or swapping with. Yeah. Right? Did I got I got that right this time. I'm sure glad that I ask good questions. You do. You do. I'm still worried about us being frozen on the top cam. Oh, are we frozen? Are we talking? Oh, we are. We're good. <clears throat> Our cameras are fine for whatever reason, but the, you know, new one, I just, boy, oh boy, what troubles we've been having with all you this. You mean I, no one can see my top side? That is correct. Well, I mean, they see it, but it was from what was there before. Oh, it's, it's, it's mm -hmm. it is frozen. Mm-hmm. I need and to I don't know if messing with it during the stream is a good idea or not, but, you know. Well, are we going to have any options? I mean, the people kind of need to see what I'm doing. Yeah. Hello. Here, hold on. That should be real trippy. <laughs> hold on. There we go. Just needed a little goose. Nudging. <laughs> Nudging. Well, hey. Yeah. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. <laughs> I'm too shy. Look at me fixing things midstream. <clears throat> yes, very brave, Mariah. You know. Very brave. What are the options? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the options are that we just, yeah, <laughs> shut her down okay. and come back Yeah, yeah that day. wasn't on you guys. That was on our end. I don't know what's happening here lately. It's funny stuff. Okay. Uh, am I, am I... Gretchen says, plug it in, unplug it, and plug it back in. Yeah, really, seriously. <laughs> That's sort of what I did, in a way. Okay, I want to talk about my tags a little bit because <clears throat> I have been working on them, as you can see. And I did have, and this, this like, addresses something that I was talking to Fran about, you know, this business with these pens, the acrylic pens, which they're, you know, I have a love-hate relationship with them. I love what they do when they do what they do but when they don't do what they're supposed to do you're angry. they're aggravating mm -hmm. and i am angry at them very angry and it's exactly. one of those it's one of those it blobs out and i have learned you always start off someplace else and get it to where you want it to get but you don't want to linger because you don't have that much juicy on the hoochie and you gotta you know move along because otherwise you got to start all over again and that I, I you know I just I really they're kind of uh, the little ballpoint pen one is really my favorite you do not want to use that little booger when the paint is even the slightest bit wet because you'll gum up your point and mm -hmm. it will no longer work and it does not matter what you do it no longer works you know throw mm -hmm. it away use it for making holes in paper or whatever yeah no. All right, recycle it. So I want you just to appreciate, I really need to get something just plain down here because I've got a mishmash of, <laughs> it's hard, hard to decide what you're looking at. Now look at that little beauty. It has on it a modeling paste. Oh, Susan says to clean the tip with some rubbing alcohol. Well, I haven't done that. There you go, learning things. I mean, we're, we're not even 20 minutes in. <laughs> Amazing. I was really hoping it was five, but we've been yammering for a bit. Yeah, a bit. <laughs> okay, so how do I know that I'm finished with these? Well, sometimes I, I think I'm finished and I'll put it over there, but then something will happen. And I will open up a whole new process. Yeah. And I'm, oh, it's not done yet. Yeah. But see those little dots, the little highlighty I love bubbles? That. That looks yeah, lovely. I know. Very proud of you on that. And this one, I came in and I did some lines in the background, some little shapey things, mm -hmm. and then did some more at the top to kind of, you know, keep your eye going. I've got two different kinds of stars here. They're kind of big at the bottom, get little at the top. Okay, this one, I did lots to it. I stenciled this on the bottom to knock back the pink because I thought the pink was kind of overwhelming. And I love this stencil. I, this is, I really, it, it works so great for these I need to bring that back into the rotation of the freebies. Oh, you do, because people will love that. And I even thought if you took a hot needle, you know, all you gotta do is get a ca candle going, put a needle on a cork, and you can 
punch holes in the Yupo. Now, I don't know, you might want to get some air circulating. I don't know if you should be breathing those fumes or not. But you can, then you could sew. I just thought of that. Here's a nice little focal point. You guys catch all that? You know what you're supposed to do? Here's the thing. If you want that little freebie, if you place an order and you want that particular one, can you show them? Do, do, you, have the, do you have it right there next to you? I do, and I've even techniqued it because you asked me to. Stuck to a little nutcracker. <laughs> so if you want that freebie with your order, just say I would like the tracery freebie. And it, it's just you'll see it throughout all of these all of these cards. Pardon? Rita, she's here. Rita Summers from Tasmania, Australia. We know who you oh are. Oh my Rita. goodness! She's a she does the I think fiber art type stuff, but oh, I bet she, she knows really prudence. cool stuff. You in... know prudence. <laughs> prudence. She's is been like... in the group for a long time. Rita Summers, pretty sure. Rita. Rita, you know about prudence. The same Rita? You need to tell me because I'm 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 like enamored of. It's, just, it's got a little. little uh, yeah, I got I, I do. Art crush. Art crush on Pr Prudence. <laughs> Prudence is my hero. She s saved me in middle school. Okay, here we go. So I do have a focal point here on this one. Well, a lot of them I do. Oh, and I wanted to talk about why I didn't do all of the stars. I did that star because it's right next to my goddess. So that we know that she's I love the star. That. Yeah. And that cool little stencil mm -hmm. at the bottom there interrupting all that pukey pink. And then I had these big swatches of stuff and I'm kind of like, oh man, that's just too much for such a little card. So I just came in and went over the top of it with Ooh, my that's good layering. custom mix of green. And I really, oh, who sent me all the jars? Same person that's... Joe Lynn. Yeah, Joe Lynn. Sorry, Joe Lynn. you kind of put me on the spot there for a second. I was like, jars, what? Oh, oh yes. Jars, not say, stars, I, Mariah. I, I, jars. Uh, <clears throat> thank you. I really do want to mix up that custom green that I used here. I told her if she left those because jars out, though. That is just... Uh, yeah. I was. I only had three left. I don't know where... In you, my suitcase. Well, I get it, but I don't... like. Well, you never know, Mariah. See, she's she's... Mm -hmm. She does not get the idea of, mm -hmm. okay, so I just read her this article. This is Thirsty Thoughts, so I can ramble on. This article about this woman who is, um, I don't know, she's some kind of designer. I don't know what she is. She, she has some creds anyway. Oh, she does know Prudence. <gasps> See, Mariah, those in the know. She lives way up north, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I knew that she was. And, and do you follow her? She's been to her workshop. <gasps> um, oh, I just had chills run up and down my spine. I know, we really need to visit uh, Australia. Well, they have really bad spiders there. I, th supposedly, that was that was talked about, I think, in the last stream. That really, that, and that, I mean, is, they're, that is talked like and, and frogs that eat dogs. I think, and maybe that's just an urban legend. I don't know. Uh, you need to source yeah. your stuff a little better. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Okay, now see, here's the stencil again right there. And I just did one straw, <laughs> one star in black and white. And then drew little little circles. Isn't that brilliant? And I thought these stars looked kind of lame, so I made them into webby oh, they stars. they look like little webby things. That's cool. I know, we isn't it? need the eye on that one with the webs. This one? Mm-hmm. I need to find my little eye because it would go right there. Oh, mm -hmm. Good idea, Mariah. I have them. She Just does. so you know. <laughs> okay, well, here's a big old eye. Now, I'm not sure that this one is finished yet. I think it needs some yellow and some red. Because have you noticed every single card I have has yellow and red, yellow, and blue in it of some sort or another? Mm -hmm. I don't when I do these tags, now, not so much when I do the prints. I don't know why that is. I don't know. I mean, I even got some... I don't know what this weird mustardy, like, non-committal yellow thing you got going on on me, so... You hush up! I, this is... I have rediscovered this due to 49 Dragons yellow ochre. Oh, were you inspired? I was! I mean, and here's the thing. 
her wiring was mighty if fine. If you are going to, yes, it was. And I, I, I got a lot of little pointers out of there. If you are going to use yellow ochre anywhere in relationship to black, and I think it's the reason people, it's oh, one of the reasons. Oh, greened out, yeah. Yeah. You have to let it dry. Yes. So that they remain separate layers. Yeah, keep them separated. Yeah, they do not mix well together. They make, but now if you do get that really horrible green and you just add some white to it, then you kind of get that. So, <laughs> there is that. All right, well, I, I just couldn't resist that because I wanted to share my little... Oh, and here on the back, they've oh, all got words. Oh, here, they're actually poisonous toads, and if the dogs eat them, they die. Oh, that's it. So they... Yeah, okay, yeah. they don't eat the dogs, they just kill them off. <laughs> the dog, Good to know. The dog tries to eat the toad, but then the dog, you know... Oh, well, it's kind of, yeah, poisonous. Yeah. Giant poisonous... Now, I think some of our toads here, like, they'll make them really sick. I don't know that they I know die. that they eat. It's, it's, it's like a defense mechanism yeah, they, thing. They yeah. excrete. Excrete. Yes, they, they ooze stuff. Well, that's what... I watched this murder movie. And what he did was he took the, the tree frogs from, I think... I don't know. Anyway, the Amazon. They're little green jobbers. And he put on his gloves and he held the toad. And he kind of squeezed it a little bit. And you kind of <laughs> he was kind of going... You know, and then he took his finger like this and got just two little drops of the goo that came out and rubbed them on the spoon. Dead on a doornail. What are you watching? I can't remember. It was some murder movie. God. All right. Well, moving right along. <laughs> that cheerful little note. Look at that green. Woo! Yeah, what else are we talking about? Oh, well, what are we talking about? Are you doing your notes or not? Um, yes, I am. I, okay, I told you about Vicki Reed and her Christmas tree cards. No, you didn't. I didn't? Well, I don't want to talk about that right now. I'm going to talk about that a little bit later. Where's my... Uh, is it under the fire here? These are Oh, okay, I'm going to put that over there with the trees. Okay, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to kind of go through the layers here. Okay. I just abs I just can't tell you what how much I love our wisecrackers and yeah. nutcrackers. I mean, you know, the crackers are the cracking. shiz knit. Crackers are cracking. The crackers are cracking. Crack -a okay, now I wanted to talk about something because I watched somebody... Mm, well, they do that here too, Debbie. What is it? Red and black spiders. If you... Black widows, they'll kill oh, you. Oh, yeah. And those, um... What are they? The brown... Brown recluse recluses. are the most poisonous spider known to... I watched that was also on that same show because they oh, had the poisonous list. snakes. Like the top ten. No, this was this lady. She was doing this venom research. Mm. And that and this one one guy that worked in the lab was all upset because he'd been passed over by promotion, so he's slowly just killing everybody off. Oh. And and uh I don't know, they let these snakes go, and it was, oh, man, it was so creepy because one of them they put in this guy's bed, and he, he just got in bed, and mm -mm. all of a sudden, no, oh, no, so yeah. I don't want to know things like that. Yeah, it, it was, I kind of had to close my eyes and squint up. Yeah. All right, let's talk about backgrounds, moving right along. <laughs> moving right along. Okay, now, if I want to use this, which I think is a simply stunning background, by the way, and it's done on Brayer Offs, and you can see there's really a lot of smooshy stuff right up there. Uh, credit card, uh, you know, I don't know what I was doing. But anyway, good colors. If I wanted to do this and do the silhouette thing, I would probably use a very dark, opaque color. Because otherwise, it's just going to be too busy. You aren't going to focus on your figures. I love that. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to put that over yonder because I am going to use that. Okay. All right. Where are we here in the pile? Oh, okay. I watched this today. Wonderful Wednesdays at the Museum of Modern Art out of Fort Worth. Oh, really? They did this thing today at... Uh, you guys need to watch this because it's. I wished I told Mariah this earlier because she could have had one of those little oh well here I can little bot things you know <laughs> done down at the end and the, the numbers and the letters all mixed together. Yeah, 
that so take you there without having to type anything in. I love those little things. I don't know what they're called. I don't know how to get them most of the time, but they are very wonderful. So, wonderful Wednesdays today, and it just came out today. I was like one of the first persons, first people to watch it, and I just thought that was really cool. <laughs> it was special. artwork inspired by Christopher Brown, who I did not know who that was. Anyway, you need to look up Christopher Christopher Brown. But the woman doing this was Akifa, Akifa Khan. And she did a figurative abstract painting inspired by Christopher Brown. You must go and check it out. It is absolutely wonderful. So the Modern Museum of Fort Worth. Yes. Which, you know, one of these days I would love to go. You know, we took Izzy to the Dallas Art Museum when she was a toddler, and it was a horrific experience. She kept climbing under the barriers and... The guards followed us around and gave us dirty looks the whole... Of course. Yeah. yeah. I tell you, sometimes I don't know who's in charge of creating these links and things. It makes me crazy. They obviously are not talking to the right people. And then I think, would I want to do that? I don't, I don't, I don't even want to contact them. Okay, well, anyway. That is a, a thought for the day. I'm going to put that in my... my... Well, here, I'm going to at least get you guys to the website... You're on your own as far as trying to find out. Wonderful Wednesdays. Wednesdays. Like, they don't have a landing page for just the Wonderful Wednesday, which is very annoying. Why wouldn't you have, like, a landing it's page? It's on page? YouTube. You can just... Oh, is it on their YouTube? Uh-huh. And see, they don't even... I don't even know where they're... Heard. Well, well, I think maybe I'll you tell should... you, their moderns... Needs, needs to update their... Some things. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, this print here sort of reminded remember this one i'm gonna subscribe okay so i was watching i guess i can't remember who it was whether it was might have been there we go it might have been vicky but it could have been somebody else who wiped up their plate after they were finished that was you said that that was on the um jelly arts video oh yes it was oh yes it was oh my goodness I just, I, I couldn't watch anymore because it was too painful. Okay. And I just, I think really a lot of times, if you have mucky muck on your plate and it really isn't something that you want necessarily, of course wipe it up. But if you've got a wonderful thing out there with some stuff on it, like, duh, don't wipe that off. Don't take that off. Incorporate it into another whole idea of what you're going to do. And remember how I did this? Actually, I really don't remember either. Dear Lord. Hmm. Oh, I know. I held I held down the thing and did it actually on the plate. All right, stamped it on, basically. I, the sil silhouette of this, and I don't have it here, but you know. It's this dude right here except the big one. All right, Judy P's here, too. Hello, Judy. Hi, Judy. I'm going to get to those trees. Don't give up on me, girl. I'm sorry. I, I've said for the last three times I'm going to so, talk, address the trees, but today I really, really, really am. I, okay, I got to shut up and get them. I, I move along. Okay. Everybody gets that. Don't do that. <clears throat> okay. My pet peeve on this whole thing of, you know, doing these little demos. What you're doing needs to have a relationship to the exemplars that you start off with. Because she had these two wonderful little uh, zipper packet things with this multi-layered multi print on it and everything. That was nothing about what she did with what she had there that day. Second thing, if you're going to have a focal point, that needs to be the last thing added to your paper or if you're doing it on the plate it should be the first thing that goes down now she was using her plate as a stamp so if you're doing that wait until you get all that background all you know worked out worked and out and put everything. it on there and then yeah, yeah. put it on then you don't have to work around it because i could just see it was just you know she was so worried about overlapping her image yeah. That she had down there that she really, you know, she's struggling, struggling with it. So, hint, 
Do your background first. Um, I, hopefully, we're going to get to some backgrounds today. We will <laughs> if I just shut up. Okay. Just yada, yada, yada. For those yada. of you that are coming in, hello, welcome. Do okay, hello now remember. Chats, we say hello back and thumbs up, please. Okay, now yeah, go on. Yeah, absolutely. All right, remember the little oopsie thing there? I'm, I'm going, to, I don't really want to fuss with that because that, but I'm going to come in and I'm going to fix that and you're going to be absolutely amazed. It probably won't be on camera. Okay, I just wanted to show you that this you're gonna, again. Oh, you're not going to show them today? You're just no, gonna I don't want to do that. I want to get to it? trees. Okay. Because this right here, I'm going to have to mix up that color. And then and then she'll show it again and tell you guys exactly how she ended up doing it. Can I? Is that okay? It was, I really do want to get to trees. I, I really, honestly, I am totally honestly, fine with that because I don't really want to see you futz about with that. Okay, yeah. Mariah doesn't want to see that. It's boring as crap. And, you know, she watched. You could, it's not quite as bad as watching paint dry. But it is almost. Yeah. Hello, Isabella. Okay, I'm putting this over here welcome, on top welcome. of the orange folder because I do want to access that at the end of our. Okay, I don't know that I want to talk about this right now. I, I really do just want to get to the trees, but I, I want you to look at all of this. <laughs> see this? Uh, see all this? And see how wonderful. If you like it all is. this, then you're in the right place. <laughs> <laughs> if it makes you crazy. You know. Yeah, probably need to go someplace else. But I've just got all of my Franken stencils out here, and I really, mm. I, I, ha I think it's going to be. Oh, and look, there's that little pin. Well, I'm going to need that booger, so I don't want to lose that. It's kind of camouflaged on the white. Okay, I'm going to rotate out my tree fold. Oh, those are our. Well, some of them are her, you know, crazy like Franken stencil pieces. But I think some of those actually are from our stencil set called Matisse. Matisse pieces. Yeah, because we did add them after I, I made them. Yes. We, and and I, I, th that black one, I'm pretty sure. And you get the whole thing. I'll put a link in. Yeah. <laughs> I'll drop you, that link. You do that, Mariah. <laughs> All right, link. here we go. All right, let me make sure. Exemplars. Mm -hmm. Do the background first. Flexible backing. Oh, and she uses a flexible plate. But I'll tell you what they do have. For their little, little plate, little gel plates, they have this little thing that they put them in. Are you talking about Jelly Arts? Or what, what? The lady that I watched today. So she was, it was on the Jelly Arts channel. Jelly Arts. Yes. That's the other people. I think we don't so. really, we don't really, we have one of their plates. We don't like them as much as the gel press. Yeah. We ain't getting paid by either, but. No. But the other people did send us some too. cool stuff. Yeah. <laughs> they have. So we have a certain sense of loyalty. We can be bought. A bias. <laughs> but they come in these little round containers and you can keep the jelly plate on the lid to use as a stamping thing. Now that's pretty oh. dead gum brilliant. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Overs, background first, blah, blah, blah. Okay, took care of that. Now I'm going to put that inside my book because it's got all those cute little notes that I might use on something else. Who knows? All right, Vicki. You need to watch Vicki because she's got a, she, a different approach on Christmas trees. <laughs> she's a different approach. And here's what I ask you to do. When you go and visit Vicki, if you haven't visited her, with her Vicky before. Vicki Reed. Vicki Reed. Can you please tell her I sent you there? Because that way, I'm going to get on her radar. <laughs> She's just now on my radar. I reached out to her today. Oh, you did? Oh, I good. Did. Good, good, good. And I just really, you know, I feel like... She needs to be... We might... Mesh. She yeah. needs to be part of our group. Uh, seriously. Does anybody know Vicki? Maybe some people already do. Yeah. She seems like a really nice person and she's got some really brilliant ideas. Now she's using... Um, <laughs> she used other people's stencils. She used other people's stencils, <laughs> which shall remain nameless. That's okay. Not everybody knows about us. Not every, that, Yeah, we need to get her note up. <laughs> All right. Okay, so... I, I'm, I don't know what... Should I talk about... Well, I've talked about that before. I think I just want to get right to this business with the this stuff. Okay. Oh. Just get ready to lose your mind. Thank you, Barbara. Seriously, this stuff is so cool. Remember, she said that she was going to send us some of that chunky stuff from okay. the chart. I, I've got, I've got it, I've got it. Okay. I've got it, and I saved this, and I did it on here, and I was going to cut it up, and make it into a card, and then I thought. You know, I really need to just save this so everybody can see exactly what it was beforehand. Yeah. And what it was, started out with, it was a crap print. 
Yeah, it happens. It does happen. And I don't really know what, how, how it happened. It might have been just in a cleanup print. Oh, remember, I think it was when you were just... Because it went awry. Well, or you were just kind of spatulating things. And I can't even remember if that was like... Because it's got, it's got a um, yeah. oopsie over here. But this was actually... I used one of my plates as a palette, remember? And I pulled this off. And then it, some of the places didn't actually come off with the first pull. So then I took some of this stuff, and that was all a tear off right there and there and there. Wherever you see blue, because mm -hmm. I came back in with this indanthrine mm -hmm. and kind of watercolored it in, but doesn't it look cool? It does look cool. Yeah, I'm going to put that in the shop. I'm pretty proud of that. I haven't even put the ones that we actually do have well, matted. And, yeah, that is pretty cool. Isn't it? Yeah. I, I thought, and, and all that was is that was what I cleaned up my stencil with, because you'll see here in a minute. All right, trees. Oh, I hope I've got the, where are my trees? Where are my trees that I made specially for this process? Ah, here they are. Look at her finding things. My Look goodness. at me. I found that two different things already, Mariah. I'm super impressed. I know. Okay, can you give me a little AC? I don't know. I'm having a moment here. I think it's on. I hear the thing running. You do? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, now these are all trees that I've done with um, modeling paste, which, I mean, you know, that's not really all that nifty-difty. But here's some trees. Now, Judy P., here's what I'm talking about. The thing about these outers, and I cut these off because I wanted them to be, I, I came in with tape and taped up the edges so that I can do my, oh my goodness, I really needed to use a little on the other side of that. Excuse, Excuse me. <laughs> she hasn't been drinking. I haven't. It's probably part of my problem. I need to drink more. <laughs> I'll tell you what. <clears throat> See that stuff in the back of my throat? Mm -hmm. That stuff is back. Remember, Hello, you need Christine. to tape on both sides so that your tape doesn't Hello. doesn't yeah. stick to other things that you don't want it to right. stick to. Judy Pete, she's got her trees. Okay. So this, oh yes, blessed air. That's one of the things I'm th thankful at night when I do my gratitude list before I go to sleep. I'm always thankful for air conditioning. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can always put on more clothes, you know? You can only take off so many before they arrest you. <laughs> yeah. Not in your own home, but, you know. It, well, you we know. Got, it, yeah. We have others living with us. Okay, so this is the part of the tree that you need, Judy. And kind of some of those trees that, you know, look a little bit blah or you lost them because they're kind of the same color as the background. Mix yourself up some paint and then kind of go over them, but you know, you don't have to do it everywhere. You can just do it like on the edge, kind of, sort uh -huh. of. Yeah, because you've got a good start there on that. And I just thought, oh my gosh, those backgrounds are so fabulous. I've got to remind myself to tell her about this process because it's just like Mariah and I were talking today. What was it we were talking about? And I said, oh my gosh, doesn't everybody know that? Oh, well, the plates, having more than one Having plates. more than one plate, yes. That's where we were going with that. And Well, so it was funny because um, earlier uh, Lee had mentioned, she's like, oh, I was watching, um, she, she said I watched someone. It, it was the 49 Dragonflies, Barbara. And she was using her heat gun, which a lot of people expressed a bit of, like, apprehension about. And that was, I think. Now, depending on your heat gun, I, I think some of them have, like, a, like right. a not so hot setting or whatever, I still wouldn't do it. Um, still would make me very nervous, and it's kind of one of those things. It's really best, yes, if you at least have a couple of plates, just you can. Yeah, I, them out. I would. I would never ever advise somebody to use the heat gun yeah. on, on your gel plate because number one, you can melt the sucker. I know yeah. that you can, especially those homemade varieties. Those are. Yeah, because some people even just they, they end up oh, melting just melting them the, down again. Yes, that's how 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 they do it. That's how it's done. But the other problem is, is you notice about halfway through, her, uh, she's starting to have problems with sticking. 
and pulling off of the paper and tearing of the paper, I think what happens is that heat dries out all the oil. The oil sort of effervesces into the air. Yes, I'm seeing you, Laura. And then, <laughs> what? She's like, you seeing my posts? <laughs> And I think that's that it, two problems, yeah. Drying out the plate, but you're actually maybe when you do that heat thing, you're changing the whole structure of the surface of your molecules on your plate. Look and you suddenly sciencey. Suddenly they're becoming more compacted and closed in because remember when you heat up things they expand? Oh, look at you. Yeah. Hey, well, Gretchen says, P, need a drink suggestion. I discovered a variety of mezcal while uh, in Oaxaca uh, oh, yeah. for the Day of the yeah. Dead. A couple Te were very tasty in coffee or hot chocolate. Yeah, tequila. I can't do tequila. It makes mm -mm. me into a zombie. I, I like tequila. I like tequila, too, but it I, I, I wouldn't be able to talk because I would just be sitting here looking at you. <laughs> I don't know how entertaining that is, but I can't imagine I would watch that very well. All right, so let's get back to our rat killing here. <laughs> She's pretty amped up today. I don't know. I've just had, I mean, you know, I'm kind of a little bit bipolar. That's probably true. I suspect. Anyhow, yeah. A little, Once yeah. I start getting ideas and stuff, it's just like they come so fast I can't get them all down at once. I can remember as a child being very, mm. very upset because I couldn't write fast enough to write them all down. Okay, y'all see this? How I opened that up? So you're going to get, it's going to have a membrane on it. Membrane, see that? Membrane. Membrane. Mm -hmm. Plasticky. Mm -hmm. Very, very membraney. Membrane-y. Membrane-y. On there, I, I would not recommend taking that all off because if you get this this heavy duty stuff clogged up in the little things around here, you're not going to be able to seal it up, and I think it's going to become problematic. Okay, now this is, and I decided I liked my fatter edge spatula. And I don't know where that is. These are all all skinny. I'm going to find some new lighting systems or something. Cause just ah, here we are. Hiding out, in plain sight. And it's even cleaned up. That's even more remarkable. Okay, Mariah's readjusting our lighting here. Um, but this is what it looks like. It sort of looks like oatmeal. Isn't that wonderful? Okay. If she knows, you got to hold your, your tree. All right, I'm back. And you you want to be careful that you're not getting under the lip of the edge of the the tree. So come at it um, from all the sides. Yes, keep it fairly flat. See how I'm keeping it parallel to my surface. I'm not pointing it down. That's why I said don't use those those um, pointy tips. Get yourself a flat, a fat flat. A fat flat. Fat one. flat. So the other day, remember when we were looking at the um, the golden paint chart? This stuff is the gold mica flake, and it's like it's large mica flakes. I think you can get them in two different sizes. Or I'm assuming. Why would you put large on that there if there was not a medium or no, small? A, oh, there is large, and then there's a small. What do you got? I've got large. She's got large. And got charge. large. All right. Now, even though there may be the places, small that small. <laughs> pla <laughs> places on here that aren't particularly crispy. Look at that. Here's the other thing that you will discover. It's clear. They want to see the label. Oh. Just a sec, let me put the lid on. And I've got to find something here. I had a piece of paper. Oh, yes, it's right back here. Yeah, it really is funny because on the chart, seriously. Gold, like, they, mica, flake, large. Yeah, there's a small and a large. Let me tell you, there isn't much of a difference between the. Here, look. 
I hadn't even noticed that before, that there was a... Oh, yeah. Wow. Marginal. Yeah. Whichever one's the cheapest, get that one, because yeah. there's not a no, whole... No, ton of difference there. Whole bunch of difference there. All right. Now, what I was going to do that I forgot to do, but oh, well. What? Well, the thing about this is it dries clear. So you're not going to have... Can you see... You can't really see the edges of the tree so much. So you've got to get something underneath it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try that. If I can get this mica stuff off of here. On my other tree that I... Tip for having metallic stay. Hmm. <laughs> exactly. She'll have to remember her tip in a moment. <laughs> I'll have to remember my tip. Okay, I don't know if this is going to work. This is... I remembered to remind myself, but now I don't remember the actual information that I was reminding myself about. Okay, I, I, I think you got, at some point, just, you've got to get your hands in it. Because it, it, it's just, um, you, you kind of have to scrape them off with your fingernail. And I probably should have lined this up a little bit better. But I think you'll be able to get the gist of it. And it looks milky for quite a while. It, it remains, yes, it, 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 it does. That, that is very true, Mariah. But it, it, it did dry, like, it finally, well, you saw the end. You see, I'm just trying to scoot them out there, and then they get stuck on your finger, and they get stuck on other things, and and I do, I, I'm going to um, try to clean this up pretty fairly rapidly, because I, I think that, yeah. There we go, now look at that. This is just the leftover stuff. Don't, and then you've got some more leftovers. Don't, don't leave any leftovers behind. Don't leave any leftovers behind. Okay. Now we're just going to... You do want to be careful with these trees and their little edges. Because th their little edges are going I to... Have, I have... A, I, I bought the bulk pack of sticky notes the last time because Izzy's a little hard on them. The what? The sticky notes. <laughs> I'm just like, good heavens. What are you no. going to... Yeah, she, she oh, likes, she yeah. She she, 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 she lays it. trails for us. Yes, it, it's hysterical. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna lose some of it. I don't know. You could save these and maybe add these for little, whatevers. But you do want to get yourself cleaned up. Hey, Devin. And uh, yeah. On Blick, there's the same price whether you want big or small. Okay, my, I I need. I don't want really you don't want you to it? wash it because. I, I, I need it for my next... Well, why don't you hand me a wipe and I, I'll get it a little more Can cleaned you clean up. clean it up? Okay. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. All right. So, and, and the thing that I needed was I was going to use it, but I've got more. I've got more trees here. <laughs> I've got more tree outers. Tree parts? Yeah. They want to just stick together. They're kind of Velcro-y. They are very bulk with that at that edge. Mm -hmm. Okay, well we've got a tree we can work with here. I don't like all the trees, and they're not all the same. I really like this. I'm very very partial to this tree. Well, dare I say? Dare I say? What could make a little? All right. Well, we're going to have to do the tree upside down. Just set. Because I, I need to move it over here because I, I don't want to be getting my arm in it. All right, but I do want to be able to get it down here where it's kind of darker and it's got some some of those sparkly things. I don't know that the sparkly things are necessarily going to show up, mm -hmm. but I, I want them there nonetheless. All right, getting my. Now, let me just tell you about this light and fluffy. Fish, I, I, I didn't have the lid on all the, I, I had mostly, but it was oh. not, and, and it's kind kind of lumpy. That was your bed. I, yeah, it's a bit stiffer than it needs to be, but it's still usable. And I want to show you how to apply it, because hopefully we'll be able to get back to it before the end of the... I tell you, those of you that do not like glitter, I don't think that the um, chunky mica stuff is going to be anything you want in your life. Just FYI, for those. Of and you I've that got are... some of the chunky stuff mixed up into it. Yeah, it just uh, keeps on giving. 
<laughs> it might end up in a little bit of everything. <laughs> well, remember that fluffy stuff that we had, Mariah? That you opened up the jar and it immediately started flying, oh, well, that, flying yeah, around the room? Yeah, that's the gold leafing business. Oh, yeah, yeah. that stuff is, it kind of ends up everywhere. Okay, now when you're doing this with the trees and the modeling paste, you've got the opportunity to give some texture to your tree. And, and you know, you should not pass up opportunities. <laughs> Don't pass up opportunities. Okay, so this is what I kind of do. I just take this and I just wiggle it. Oh, that's very clever. Your paste is thicker, I can just tell. And then if you don't like that, you can come in and just give it a smooshy about. Mm-hmm. I like that smooshy about. I think, better. but you need the other one underneath because what it does is it piles it up. Mm. And then when you come back with the smooshy about. So it's a, it's, a, it's a dual. It is a dual process, but look at that. Look at that tree. Isn't that absolutely just. Like a little winter wonderlandy tree. Winter to the little winter wonderland. Alrighty. Now I'm going to put that over here so I don't put some soft on top of it. Squish all that loveliness. Okay, so I've got these jobbers. <laughs> what? Darcy says, hashtag glitter is from the devil. <laughs> I'm taking it. She's one of those uh, anti-glitterers. I don't mind it. I don't even mind it being everywhere. Okay, now I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm going to... Um, I, don't, I don't mind being sparkly. Well, I don't mind it either, but I'll tell you what, that kid doesn't need to have, ever have glitter until she's 25. She, she, she's not a... Um, she does not... Uh, glitter responsibly. She does not. <laughs> and remember, ladies and gentlemen, you want to get your the stuff off of your stencil because it will clog it up. Yeah. And, and especially it. on these trees with these little wispy edges on them. Mm -hmm. The vel velcroy parts. It, velcroy parts. And you notice how I'm going in. Well, that's to clean off the but it's also so I don't catch on the edges. Now that's probably not going to be. You, you know we inspect all the packages, Judy. J Judy's trying to send all her glitter to Izzy. <laughs> hey, she's banned from the glitter for a while. She is. She, after uh, the last thing, was, and I mean we had, it was all over the floor. It was in her hair. And you know how it is, it stays for days. I know that people and then school just, thought she we probably didn't bathe her. It but, spreads. It's just everywhere. everywhere. Okay, so that is my clean off. <laughs> That's right, Susan. <laughs> and I don't, you really can't see it as well as I wanted mm. to be able to see it. Dang it. What do you mean? Now I can't match it. Uh, oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, I think it's. We may just have to, you know. Come back again. Yeah, I, I don't know. And do something else. Oh, you can when you turn yeah. it up like this. I see, say, I think you can see more than you're kind of like. I, don't I know didn't what really. This, I, the this edge over here kind of got left out. But, you know, it, it'll be all right here in a minute, and I'm going to show you what to do. Okay, put that aside. Let that dry. Because we're going to use the pen that you don't want to use. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, here I am with another little tree with a cool little background. So these were all and done the same. Another little tree with a cool little background. And here's a tree that I did. And I think this one's really cool with this pen. Mm. Because it was a wipe off. Mm -hmm. The background on this was a wipe off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, you can still come in on places where, you know, where it's, it's kind of thin and maybe you would oh. like for it to be a little bit more. Look at you. And add a little bit more. And, I mean, you could even put it on the parts where. Now, uh, some of that I really don't mind because I think it's kind of cool looking because it's like, you know, it's showing through the tree. Yeah. But that's a use of this. <laughs> oh, bless no, you. No, no. She's not a one sneezer, y'all. Mm. Ah. Okay. I These could... are going to be little cards. Aren't those great? <laughs> Think about something. 
But what do I always tell you? I don't know. I can't remember what I always say. Oh my say gosh. Usually when you're sneezing. Screw that. Oh, what am I thinking? I don't know, lady. Holy moly. <laughs> Bless you. Uh, it, it, well, there'll probably be four or five more. Don't don't get it's just <laughs> no, it's normal. once it starts, I don't know why it does not. not that not, I'll tell you what that. Did you break Mo Modeling modeling paste is um really tough on my hands. I think it's there. You go. Mm -hmm. Okay, Vicky, we're done with you. <laughs> Until you contact us, Vicky. Yeah. All right, now, here is a really... a very weird stream, but I, I'm okay with it. It's what great. is it? I, I just wish... Is, what do is you... the camera... Are you guys happy with the lighting? I feel like it's a little dull, but, you know, let me know in the chat. And I'll just stop obsessing about it. What do... Because you're well lit up, but over here it just seems a little dull. But I could actually probably turn up the brightness on my screen, too, and that usually fixes all things and then I stop messing with stuff it's, that I shouldn't mess with. My sneezing is like, you know, have you ever, uh, when, in Alaska, the gnats are like in swarms. I'm, I'm not kidding you, swarms. Mm -hmm. And so you, they'll, you'll run into them before you even know it and you inevitably suck one up your nose. <laughs> oh man, it is the is worst that how you're feeling right thing. Now? That is how I'm feeling right now. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's just dreadful. Okay. All right, I'm going to mess I? with it a little bit then. Where are my trees? Where are my trees? All right, well, let's just use a big tree. Once we got a pretty good sized print here. All now, right. I don't like the halo light directly over because then it's we're always fighting with it on the um, with the gel plate. So that's one reason. Um, oh, I bet you're... Can you pull your other light down? towards you like over your head a little bit this one uh-huh because normally i think it's a little bit more. well and i also haven't even turned this one on and it's kind of cloudy out it is there we go is that more better uh, you know, oh. an hour in it's fine okay you know. uh we're, we're going to try something here and i i told i, I need to get rid of these plates because they keep poking me it just keep poking yeah. me but i do want to share with you some things here that was her, that was her fault. She didn't turn on her top light because I was like, and then I, our other light needs fixing. Okay, I'm handing this this to you because I cannot reach its designated spot unless I <clears throat> on it. Oh hey, I ha are you um? Because remember, you I don't know if you wanted to do another one on this. <gasps> I might. Okay. Yeah. Okay. These prints that you have that you've you know got to. I I know I'm terrible. I I waste a lot of paint. These are absolutely perfect for this technique. Okay? Yeah. Okay. And as you can see here, now, I really, you know, I watched. Okay, I wrote her name down. I thought I put her. Yes, here. Okay. Another person to watch. <laughs> Diane Antone. Now, she's doing something right if she's got this many people watching her. So, really, she's you she's got some creds. You didn't tell me about this one. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, so she does watercolor trees. But oh. she uses, she makes this little stencil. It's a very simple little stencil out of folding the paper in half and, and doing the points yeah. and cutting. It, it's very elementary. Scandinavian. Oh, elementary you know? school, Elementary, too, yeah. that's how it's, we... Yeah, it's this kind of tree. But they were cute. And she just did it out of regular paper, which I mean, uh, and it kept getting kind of soggy and mucked about. And I, I wondered why she didn't use something like, you know, Yupo or plastic paper. But I, yeah, neither here nor there. Mm -hmm. And then she used the fl flickering technique. Yeah. Which was, re re I, I mean, you know, it was, they were really nice. But look, when you go and you visit with her, you need to say, we heard about you from PM yeah, Artist Studio, Studio, and you need to tell her that Whimsical I, trees. Whimsical. They were. And you need to tell her that I thought they were wonderful. But she needs to look at our trees, too. Okay, let's try something here. Let's, let's do it. Let's do some dabbing. A little dabble, do ya? Mm-hmm. A little dabble, do ya? 
Doody doody doo doo. Oh, Gretchen watches her, and she's she did her paint a bird a day project this summer. <gasps> mm. Well, she's 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 legit. She does know what she's doing, and I'll tell you what, she knows some stuff about color mixing too, and I'm always impressed with that. Well, I think it's a watercolorist that's pretty much with you, transparent you, you colors. Need yeah, to. yeah, this is true. There are people that I watch, and just that that thing that I watched with that artist in Fort Worth that did the. Um, art inspired by <clears throat> she would have benefited from a good color course yeah because she and I know that she was just trying to whip something out you know in five minutes or whatever but still she could have once her let top her, her opaque layer dried I think she could have utilized some more transparent colors to make some interesting things happen and you'll understand that more when you go there Okay, let's try this. What we're going to do, and do remind me, because I want to do a background on that purple before I, I'm gonna lay that on top of there so I don't forget. Okay. You got an hour. I, oh, good. I'm always, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm rushing along because I'm, all right, we're gonna take some of this, and I, don't, I haven't even swatched this, what is, that's wrong, nope. Gretchen, that's, the, that's cute. She says whimsical art is right up her alley since it, since it's so goofy and anything goes. Do not ask me for realistic unless it's their photo, photography. <laughs> hey, I, I'm, I'm with work, you. And yeah. I think if it's close to photorealism, you should just take a picture. That's my feeling. What am I looking for here? Oh, I've got, I, I moved them. See these little things that Mariah makes for me? She's so, she's so nice. She takes such good care of me. These little hoopty doos. Mm -hmm. This is how you tell if your paint's opaque or transparent, if you don't know. Those are freebie downloads on our website. So we're just going to test it out, and I usually just take my finger and run it across there. Well, that's pretty, that's a little bit more opaque than I want. So I'm going to reach up here for another one and see. Those are the ones um, Ann got us. Those are my birthday yeah. goals. These are Mariah's. <laughs> and actually, I'm wearing her scarf. Just... You are. Well, I put my apron on so I didn't get paint on it. I was kind of wondering what had happened to that, but then I figured I'd just stack just a bunch of stuff on top of it and it was going to reveal itself. Once I... It was kind of like those shirts of mine. Uh, like the one you've got on right now. And this is not your shirt. It is my shirt. It was on loan to you for a bit. And it, it was originally and then, mine. And then you reclaimed it? You yeah. know there's a word for that and it's not very... No, I people reclaimed frown. it. Okay, here it is. Here it is. This is it. See? It's it's semi-transparent, so that's the one we want. All right, I'm, I know this is wasteful, but I don't want to accidentally grab that one, so I'm covering it up. <laughs> and the sponge will be stuck down there. So I'll kind of camouflage you. <laughs> and I'll have to soak the whole thing. In. Or just cut it off there. Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to do this tree right here. At least that's my thought. And I, I don't know. Is there any sponges? Are they all? And that's the one They're that... They're all kind of poopy. That, but... That's the scarf that, um, that Marcia Markle made. Oh. Well, I'm, I quite like it, and I think it looks really nice with my green eyes. She's also... Of course, she, she took my one from Lisa, so I haven't seen it since my birthday. And so well, she has it's two, more... Because she's been wearing... Her, the one that Lisa sent to her, and the one that she sent to me. Well, it's fine. We we'll live in the same house, and we shirts. share. <laughs> There's a little, uh, that scarf that you have on right now, this I is do mine. believe. This is mine. It, no, it is not. Oh, that was, I didn't use enough. Paint. What are you doing over here, woman? <laughs> I'm fiddle farting with this gold. Get her done. You know, I, I do a lot a lot less mucking about than some of the people that I watch on the on on that. That is true. There you go. Oh, I think this is gonna make a nice green too. And you know my feelings on green. Well, I'm hoping you can see some of that stuff is coming through. I don't know if I'm going to love this. Mm-hmm. And now I think I've got Oh, wonderful. Hello, Estella. Hello, so, Estella. We're keeping her company. 
All right. Hopefully our bickering isn't, you know, <laughs> it's with love. It, it is. And what you can do if you've decided you took too much away and you have a good layer underneath there, which, you can come back with your baby wipe and clear up some of it. All right. Which gold did you go end up with? using? Yes. I ended up using the Inca 676. It's a folk art. Inca gold in the metallic. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for helping me out with that. Okay, I'm going to hold this down and pull my tree up a bit and see what I need to do. Yeah, because you're not really... Yeah. All right, now that other one that I smooshed down here... Mm -hmm. I think you should come around more the outside part. Oh, bless your heart. Sometimes, Mariah, you just have I'm moments. With you. Mm -hmm. But you want to get that smushy stuff down first so it kind of blends out. Yeah. Because if you do that secondly, I think what will happen is you, you're going to have to keep doing it because, see, so you need to get that first fluffy layer down, then you can kind of outline. And you don't have to worry about what's being done on the inside. But this is what you can do with those crap prints that you've got that, you know, you're like, oh, God, this is disgusting. I'm going to throw this away before. But I'm going to show you. And see, on this one, I just kept going over it. I, I can't tell you how many layers we've got going on here. But this way, we kind of have an idea. We've defined our outline. Now let's look at it and see what we think. Oh, yeah, here it is. Are we loving it? Yeah, maybe. Hmm. 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 Really so don't. when you guys are on, um, and I think certain mobile devices, but for sure on desktop, if you hit the at symbol, it'll start actually pulling up whose name is in the chat. If you start typing it out, it then will actually make then the person's name um, highlighted in orange. And then they'll kind of be able to see it a little bit better. But unfortunately, when you're on your mobile device, it doesn't do that. Or at least... You know, they haven't done that yet that I'm aware of. Okay, now, what I'm going to do before I pull Ooh. my stencil up. Are you adding, like, garland? <laughs> it's kind of decorating no. the tree. I am not adding <laughs> garland. <laughs> this is a, this is an in the forest tree. Oh, okay. I can find my... How, how did the red stars appear? <laughs> how did the red stars appear? Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure. Hmm. Hmm. I have to think about it. I don't know how they got on there, but Poking anyway. holes in your story. <laughs> now, this is going to be a very... Hello, Melissa. Okay. Welcome. I'm taking a really tiny little edge of a sponge that I cut off because I do not want to get too carried away with this. I just want to get... <laughs> you feeling the smaller sponge is going to... Be the right amount of tool yeah I do all right see how I'm kind of lining it up with the edge of the the branches and I just took this off of another tree it was the middle piece because yeah. it's kind of two different trees actually and I'm pouncing and I'm moving it about the cabin Oh, no, I didn't see that. Can you send me a link to that, Carrie? Or was it, is it in the dashboard? Is it like one of their, you know, YouTube creators updates? I haven't been on very much. We've been cutting orders and just running around. And like then crazy. down here at the bottom, I don't need to do that because I can just use the one that's there and kind of, because this is, this is going to be the bottom branches. They don't need to be so... You know, and I think you can do as much or as little of that as you want to. Oh, no. I did not want that gold out there. Well, no, no, no. Now, if you hold it up and kind of give us a wiggle, I think you, you guys can see that there's more going on there than, yeah. Very nice. All right, I'm going to hand that. No, she can't because I think I've got this. This is going to be cut up. Uh, cut and become part of a 
card card and I think if we cut it here first I think I can still use this down here for another mm. I think all right now I'm hoping that I can still come back and use some of that paint okay I should have some saran wrap up here to whip on that but this really is I mean yeah yeah looks pretty cool doesn't it very cool all right well we're not we're not finished with that yet I don't want to put that on top of that all right, now, y'all saw this stuff? Uh, hey, I like this stuff. I like She's it enjoying it. She, when, when it first arrived and everything, I, I told her to go play with it. She, I, I was a little worried because I just didn't know, like, sometimes P doesn't totally get into something as much as I want her to. But she was all in. I was. She's like, oh my God, look at this stuff. She's like, it's not even dry yet. All right, now, this I discovered the other day because Mariah hollered at me and she said, Mom, I'm out of packets, or I will be. I have only three left or some, Four, something. Four, yeah. Okay, I, I probably need, can I hand you these? Do you yeah, have I'll tape on up. your side? Um, no, because somebody has hauled off with it. Oh, it's back behind here. Because I really need for you to tape these on here and then I won't have to do that every time and... Yeah. Make everybody crazy with the... This one might still be a little bit The swatching? Wet. Yeah. Do you want it on the front or the back? I want you to cover up information that's too small for me to read anyway. Okay. All right. So I've got these brayer offs. And I've even got this one. Oops. These little pieces here on, on the innards. It's, it's almost... You know, ask Mariah. I don't know. Does everybody always want their tree innards, Mariah? Um, well, we send them anyway. Okay. Well, if you forget yeah, the outer bits of the trees, we send. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and here's that pen that I have a love hate relationship with. <laughs> Deborah Austin. No, oh, you're so cute. Um, so this is my mother, and she lives here. I, I had a baby up, upstairs. <laughs> She had a baby, and the deal was, if she had a baby, I would come and, and, and help her properly yes. raise the child. <laughs> now, now I feel like I'm raising like three other people, but that's all right. <laughs> okay. Now, anyway, back to what I was saying. All right, this yellow ochre. I, I mean, I, I've got to use this stuff. I, I love it. Loved what happened with. The, Hello, um, Tina. Forty nine dragons. I mean, she she used that yellow ochre like a champ. <laughs> All righty, get us a plate down, here. Barbara. You watching? <laughs> Giving you some love. Giving you some love, girl. Okay. Now we're going to, and I want you all to know that I really am quite. <laughs> she says, "Oh wow, you have an awesome relationship." Most of the time. Oh, we do. Sometimes we do. You know, tears. <laughs> Mainly on my part. <laughs> I'm nicer than she is. <laughs> well, you know, everybody it's knows just that. like <laughs> families everywhere in the world, you know, have their little yes. tiffs and troibles. Here, look at this. I want you to see this fantastic because that's this way you can show both the you know swatch and the color at the same time How well that? why haven't you been doing this for all of my well, other ones that have covered up all of a probably a whole bunch i of didn't do those relevant exactly i mean we can go back through that's all right but going forward that's the way to do it that's the way to do it because you can see what it looks like and i mean you know golden already figured this out Follow they do it for you. Follow suit. Yes, Barbara, also known as 49 Dragonflies. That is correct. Yes. Oh, the name of the stencils. Oh, that that's Atomic Asters. I'll put a link in. Yes, I love Atomic Asters. Okay. And, this is the and one there's that a... Brad did, and then I made it better. That yeah. Fell back, but... Okay, I really, on this one, most of the time... Now, the reason I'm doing that is... I am conditioning my plate. I'm going to condition it. Did you see how hard some of those pulls were the other day? When we, the Instagram pulls, when that starts happening, it's time. I don't know if I've done the the really tough ones yet, <laughs> the minute long ones. One you did. 
somebody said, wow, look, at it's taken all of your strength to get that off there. Oh, that was one a while back oh. that you had done oh. that was similar to the, yes, those others. That well, you, you know, slop a little grease on here. It's, it's kind of like, you know, doing your baking pan to get... I, I used to do that sort of thing. And then you just kind of wipe up the excess. Uh, no, we don't have any gouache. We've never... What is it? Gouache. Gouache. I've, I've got some. I just, uh, I don't really like it. Oh, I didn't even know that we had some. Yeah. I've got some pan To colors. me, it's like temper paint. It, it, it sort of is. It, it's, it, it's also kind of like an egg tempura. Egg tempura. <laughs> tempura. Tempura. Tempura is the kind you put on shrimp, but tempura is the kind you paint <laughs> That's with. the stuff you eat, you know? Yeah. The Japanese restaurant. Yeah, don't when get you those. don't want the sushi. <laughs> don't the get fried those stuff. Mixed up. <laughs> All right. So we've got, we've got, let's talk about our colors we want here. So we've got this really pretty <laughs> cool looking, and I don't, I don't want to lose, so I'm going to go low contrast. What does low contrast mean? It means that the color that you're going to put on top is going to be so similar that you're going to have to absolutely work to figure out what's what. Because remember, what we want to put on top of this is our little snow-colored trees. So we want high contrast when we do that. Here we want low contrast. So let's start off with this purple. What are we going to use? Well, hmm, let me see. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Pearl and uh, Nightbot just dropped in the link. That is the exact stuff that P was using to clean the plate, which is mineral oil. And that's a an affiliate link to the kind that we really like because it, it's like cutting board stuff and it smells really nice because it's like lemony. Citrus. It is. It's, it's good stuff. Now, you, you don't need to use that. You can use the cheap stuff, and I think it also all, yeah. all works in exactly the same way. Mineral you know? oil. It's, this is the champagne of the mineral oils. Mm -hmm. you, you pay good money for this stuff, but you don't have to. Yeah, you can get the cheapy stuff at the pharmacy. Yep. Or at the dollar store. Yep. I just like it because it smells good. Yeah. So I don't, you know. I well, don't and I figured have any... if all else fails, if it sucked and wasn't what we wanted, we could actually use it on the cutting boards. That was yes. really my thought. <laughs> and it came with this other thing that we thought we might be able to use as a bearing, but it turned out they hollowed out the inside of it, which then made it not usable for what we yeah. wanted. And then we found Anthony Cody, who makes beautiful bearings. Yeah, it all worked out. Yeah. All right, now, I, I, I'm telling you that this stuff is not going anywhere. You, you want to tell them your, their, your very scientific way? That you, yeah. You, I, I blow my nose, and if nothing comes out. She wasn't breathing anything. Wasn't I wasn't sparkly. breathing anything yet. I gave her talking to you after the stream, but. All right, so I'm mixing it in with my paint, so it definitely isn't going anywhere. Oh, Deborah says she ordered what we recommended, and it worked well. She says, you, I believe you get what you pay for. There you go. Sometimes Thanks, Deborah. You, sometimes you do, and sometimes you, you um, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> but in this case, I, I, I agree with you. I think it does matter. Get that down on there. Get this big old sucker and you want to do some heavy duty pushing. Oh, about the minerals, like all the, uh, it, or in the stream, Susan. No, I didn't see that. I missed that one. What is it? Susan said she said something about, I think mica powders or minerals something well I do know that these makeup ones these are much finer but oilier and they don't go anywhere they seem to be oily and you well, can really burnish them in because did you notice the sharp crisp yeah. edges and you know that's something else because I was uh, reading the post by <laughs> nice Diane <laughs> all right now see out here where we've got little bits of, of shimmery stuff mm -hmm. but it's just you know, you got to work at seeing it. I didn't even think how festive and lovely this, the Atomic Asters is. I mean, that goes very, oh, yeah. very nicely with all the holiday business. Oh my gosh, yes. 
Heavens to Betsy. Look at you bringing some old ones Heavens back. to Betsy. Like it. Ooh. Uh, Diane said she bought her daughter a knife set yesterday and saw the food grade mineral oil with the cutting board to pick some up. <laughs> there you go. Well, I figure anything that's food grade is not going to be yeah. harmful. And you know, if you, you're, you're using it a lot, that really isn't the color that I wanted. But no? No. Why not? I wanted the pinker one. Mmm, I like the redder one. Even though I do like... Oh, hello, Marsha. Did you notice? He's wearing my scarf. She stole it. And look at how well it goes with my earrings. And her eyeballs, she says. And my eyeballs. <laughs> you know, I have noticed. Your and it eyes could... look brighter. Yes. I noticed And that. The, the green. Because they're really, I, I really, they're not really green. They're kind of hazel because they've got little chunks of goldy brown in them. I can't remember what side I put down. I don't really care. I don't know if this is the right thing to do or not, but we're going to do it. Remember, these are brayer offs. And we talked about mealy. We've had many conversations about yes. mealy. Well, most of these brayer offs are slightly mealy because once the brayer starts getting that, can you see that mm -hmm. pattern a little bit? And of course, I've got some rando chunks of some something. I'm, I'm not a terribly sanitary um, no, no true artist. Words. No, no, no I, true I could words. not do the kind of stuff that people do that requires. When are we going to um, do the Akua inks? But you know, that's so funny. You, I was just thinking about that. I don't know. I've got to, ma I've got to have a time block that's long enough that I can really... Look at that. Isn't that some cool looking stuff there? Pull it up. Hello, and, Susan. I may just use a whole new piece of paper for this one. I don't know if I'm going to get anything. It's pretty dry. <laughs> <laughs> but it will not be from lack of effort. There you go. I'm telling you what. This, this, if you don't have a brayer, and that was the other thing. 49 dragons, you need to get a brayer. You can't just do that with your hand. You Sometimes you've really got to push down on there to get that contact with your surface to get these semi-dry prints off of there. Like that. Isn't that wonderful? All right, we're going to make this into a background for our trees. I'm going to show you how you do that. Don't need to do any more with this, so I'm going to hang this up here on the... Susan said that she um, she used her jacquard micas carefully in her studio. The mica was everywhere, in the air. She held her breath and got a mask. Well, I, 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 I'm I very, very careful. Did you notice how... She said careful. Tiny. I keep tiny, telling her to just put on a mask. But. Tiny. Now, it did poof out in a few places here. But, you know, for the most part, I just hit the very end of that brush where you can just barely see it on there and get it right down on there and get it scooting about right away. Okay, so what color do we want to use to make this into more of a, I'm thinking some transparent, let's go, let's, go, let's use this purple. Yes. I think that's a very Christmassy. <laughs> oh, I just Christmas love those little, little bubbles. Oop. You got to be careful with this stuff because, I mean, it it really does. It, it just leaps out of there like nobody's business. I have to figure out. We need to get some, you know, yeah. Everybody needs, thinks that we need to be masked up, both of us. If you're floofing it about. I'll send her some articles. Send her some articles, Susan. She's very responsive to that. 
She is actually, like I'm saying. Like, I read. I, she does. That's the best way to get her to do something. <laughs> she, she also will start sending you articles back. <laughs> Just know that. <laughs> I'm big into sharing. She is. She loves those little pocket article things. But I'll so. tell you what. You people that got approved to yesterday and today... You were I went, thoroughly in investigated. <laughs> uh, you were thoroughly investigated. And if you had cool posts on your, your regular page, I was like all about it. Oh, I know. It is. I know. I know, Susan. But yes. Now, see how nice that's pulling? Look at that. Effortlessly. Effortlessly. Ooh. And look at that background. Isn't that wonderful? That is lovely. Look at you doing quick pulls. Well, I can. I know. You know, I mean, Just... seriously. Okay. <laughs> this is... I love that. <laughs> Fred says all together now. No pink, no pink, no pink. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So there's this cartoon and it's it's um oh it's the little dude. Who is it? And the little girl she has crayon she he wants to borrow her crayons and she says, Well what are you going to draw? Because she she, you know, she's very suspicious. She doesn't want to lend out her crayons. And boys are so stupid anyway. So he says, well, I want to draw a black bear in a dark forest at midnight. She said, no, you cannot use my black. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I don't know. I, I probably could have. All right, now, I mean, oh, here it is. Oh, Kathleen talked to a woman that worked craft show circuits for years. She had spent a lot of time in the hospital getting glitter out of her lungs. <gasps> there you go. I need to find us some good masks that are easy just to kind of put on and off. Yes, that, and, and don't make me feel mm -hmm. um, claustrophobic. Maybe something that you can just wear around your neck and then pull up and it's cute. Okay, where, where was that note? Where, where was that note that I stuck to the top of the jar? What did I do with that? I handed it to you. What does that note say? It says something about metallics. A okay. tip for having metallics. Stay. Okay, stay metallic. One of the things you don't want to do if you want to keep your metallic a metallic is you do not want to add opaque paint to it. Correct. If you use enough of the metallic, you will eventually get kind of a pearlized surface. But that metallic paint is killing that. Mm -hmm. I mean, that opaque paint is killing that metallic just like stabbing a knife in its heart. <laughs> yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Okay. That being said, we're going to use some... You know, this is one of those moments as a parent when you tell your child to do do what I said, not what I did. Uh-huh. Okay, so I am going to take some of this. Let's just use this stuff. Here is... You oh. all feel real comfortable, but I really don't like that. I'm going to drop a link um, directly into where the technical information regarding iridescent paints for um, for Golden. Because in that, it really talks in depth about that whole idea of the mixing of the iridescence and, and anything that has metallics oh, wow. and wine. Look at that. Kind of sort of what P's doing here. See how it's running around on the plate? Um, and then let's see here. Well, this is oh, and that would be wonderful. Thank you. Turning um, into a bunch of mucky muck. We'll just mucky muck it up some more. Yes, agreed. Diane, like what Diane said, that she's so she, Diane has both both ones that she has made and then purchased plates. Um, and our favorites are the gel um, gel press plates. Because they seem to be a bit thicker. Mm -hmm. We don't know exactly what that means as far as whatever. But we like it. He likes it. 
and they also have a lovely smell to them. Yep, they do. I want them to manufacture that and in, in a conditioner, in a mineral oil conditioner. Yeah. You know. Now I'll, I'll tell you what, there's some bucks to be made there. A vanilla flavored. And there you go. Um, mineral oil. Like Devin says that, like if you don't want to mess with these kind of loose mica powders and things. Devin has a great suggestion, which are the pan pastels, and they have metallic colors and iridescent, and they stay put. And, like, you just rub them. I think, aren't they kind of, they're, they're more like compacted makeup. Oh, oh, we weren't there very long. I didn't even see it. What is that? Uh, we're at 97. <gasps> we were at 100 there for a second or two, maybe. I didn't see it. But. Somebody came and left. How but rude. Three people. They're just checking it out. You know, we're just yammer yammering on about. I'm making art here. Fabulous art. <laughs> okay, well, that's pretty much, um, but that's not to worry. I, I will take care of that. Carrie Griffiths, he says his favorite are gel press plates as well. We just like the people. Yes, they were very sweet to us. Like, in, even when, you know, we were, I mean, they, we're they still a small channel. They hooked us up with free, some free stuff, and we sent it on to all. On yeah, we did it on one of the big giveaways. Maybe I'll reach out to Carolyn again and see if she wants to hook us up so we can hook y'all up. Yeah. That was fun. How fun. We did keep a couple little things out of the box. Yeah. <laughs> all right, now I have to share this. If I can actually lift it out of here without injuring myself. Yes, yeah, so you rub them on, and you can use them on the jelly plate, the pan pastels. I have a little folder here with a few breads. <laughs> this is why I tell her, like, just please, we're making packets. Come on, give some of them up. <laughs> okay, that might be a good one. That's lovely. And it weighs about five pounds. Hope I don't trip over that and hurt myself later. Oh, look, this one has two sides. Quandary. What side do oh. we use? Let's do this. Gel Press gives discounts to teachers. Ah. Well, let me tell you what. That's... Yeah, that's cool. Hello, I Linda. wish I'd known about this when I was teaching because I would have really... Oh, yeah. I, and my kids would have loved this. I got 30 minutes. I think when Izzy gets a little older, I will volunteer to... Do a because I probably have enough place that we could do it in, in uh, well, or at that point we could order because they have the little plates too for teaching purposes. Low contrast now, I'm probably not going to be able to use all of this, right? Because I th th that little rip, runner rip snorter <laughs> mark there probably caused from improper brayering. Um, okay, now we Glad still. Okay, Rita, thank you. We still have some good stuff on the plate, and how are we going to get that off of there? Wow, oh, good question. <laughs> Here we go. <sighs> High contrast. Yeah, it's pretty dry. Christy Hartman had a set of the class gel plate, the little ones, you know, because we've seen those on. Gently tread. You do not oh. want to pull pull up with your. Have you ever been to a teacher convention? Like, did you ever go to a teacher? Oh yes, they used to have them all the time in Lubbock. Really? Yeah. Where was I? I actually, well, I it, it was um. It was a. The colleges. I I presented. At, I did my sumie. Oh. lesson that I did at Isles. I presented that at a teacher's conference in San Antonio with Dr. Platten. Yes, I will put that because uh, Prudence just has a website, right? Prudence Madison? Prudence? I don't know if she, have, she has Facebook. I, that's, I, I just talked like to her on Facebook. Like, that's her personal. It's not yeah, like it's a, a page. No, I don't know that she has a... Hold on.
clean that plate up like a trooper. And look at that. Interesting stuff. Kind of webby. All right, let's do something else with that. I'm really, I, I don't know, is this, is this okay? We're going this direction? This wasn't where I was intending to go. <laughs> I'm, I'm just here to talk to people. You're just here, okay. We're going to try some of this. <laughs> I'll tell you truth. what. Sometimes you're doing things that I'm just not interested in. Oh. Well, are you interested? I'm using gold. <laughs> that was cute, wasn't it? Oh, you guys having a good time? Those of you that are, are coming in, do give those thumbs the upsies. Stay a while. Say hello in the chat. We'd love to say hello back. If you're watching this on replay, leave us comments below. If you're interested in list, like, you know, hanging out and doing more with us, we're doing a 5,000 subscriber giveaway. Good times. If you want to know more about that, just watch for Night Bob. She'll, she'll, she'll drop some stuff there here in a second. So this is Prudent Mapstone's website. She does free form crocheting, which is what I, I love. She it's pretty cool. And I mean she that she can do, but she also she can knit. She can um oh, I need crochet. To. She does all kinds of sewy things. So we Plus she's really a class act. It, she, she's super sweet. She she talked to us. She talked to, you know, crazy pants over here. Oh yeah, she sent us <laughs> she <laughs> sent us this cool little packet of yarn, and I've just been Saving it is precious because mm -hmm. it's, it came from she fruits. touched it. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> okay, now look at that. Woohoo! That's some good stuff right there. I think so too. Okay, now what are we gonna do? Let's okay, let's let's do a little bit more of our and I'm gonna get my sorry Fran, this bit pink's coming up. Just look away. Look away. Go get a cuppa. <laughs> Take a pee break. A <laughs> pee is a fan girl, yeah. Oh, she she knows that I, I'm a big fan. Because I can just see, see what I'm looking at here and see are those little occlusions, those mm -hmm. little outlines in there. But I think this is going to be a very festive if I'm Oh, no, you're not. I I'm a big fan of the pink, too, Rhonda. We we've got a quite a few here. Today. We just have some serious um, dislikers. <laughs> some serious pink haters. <laughs> well, there's pink, and then there's pink, and this right, this pink right here, this uh -huh. is this is rosy. Rosacea pink. Okay. Well, and it looks fantastic with gold. Like, it looks real fancy. fancy. It does. All right, now, I don't know if you can see it. Turn it off. <laughs> yes, the anti-pink crowd is just a little louder there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're going to let this dry, and then we're going to pull it with some really wonderful... Hmm, I don't know. Purple. Oh, I want it to stay delicate oh. and light. Well, you could do orange. Just not. I'm thinking it needs to be white, oh. cream. Well, yeah, your Lucas Krell mix. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That won't take long to dry. And here we are with. Oh my gosh! Here we are. <laughs> Pink. <laughs> These are the ones that were part in the stars. Pink and nutcrackers. <laughs> Pink nutcracker. Oh, that's coming off nicely. Yeah, it really is. It's kind of pulling up a bit. I probably need to. Oh, I spoke too soon. <laughs> that corner was working really well. <laughs> exactly, Kathy. She says, I haven't met a color I don't like. Everyone has a place and purpose. That's right. Try to give I'm them just all not a super fan of certain colors of green. <laughs> equal opportunity. I, I know that I, I tend to gravitate. And hey, I, I've got to do my thoughts. You do. You got 20 minutes. 
uh, we, we decided to take less than 15. Okay. So I'm still good. Just keep. I don't know. I think this is quite wonderful. Mm-hmm. It's very festive. And remember, this is the one, this is the makeup one, right? No. This was sil this was this was the silver pearl stuff uh -huh. that turned pink because yeah. of the transparency of it and then putting the red on top. I don't know. It's kind of a little bit, you know. It's loud. It's pretty loud, huh? <laughs> and they're very loud nutcrackers. <laughs> they got some things to say. They got some things to say. Where were we now? What was I thinking about doing next? I'm waiting for that to dry. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to clean up the edges here because see what's happening here? That's where your problems start. That's where you get, start getting tearing. Mm -hmm. Is when that goes over the edge of your plate like that and kind of wraps around it. Well, it does the same thing to your paper because when you push down on your paper, if you push down and it goes down slightly here, then you are creating that perfect environment for a big old rip. Oh wow, that was a good score. Pardon? Diane got some good deals out and about. We don't know where. Mm. Oh wow. Oh, she bought it from some lady. Hmm. Uh, no, that is just, um, it is, it, can you show the label on the packing tape? <laughs> sure. I can't remember exactly the name of it, um, but it is like a recycle tape, but it's also not, it was funny, it's like, you know, one of the selling points to it is that it's not loud, <laughs> which yeah. is true. It's quite nice. It doesn't... It's Earth Hugger. Yeah. Earth Hugger tape. Oh, here, I bet I can find the link for it. I like it. It's got a good thickness to it it um, does and it's very it's very pliable it's not um it's not um but i got it on amazon i'm pretty sure it is now see that came about because i pulled the plate up when i was pulling them that's where some of these bubbles come up they weren't there before but now they're there squish them out squish them out squish them out okay what do we have over here that we need to put something on top of it? Okay, I want to get something on top of this because it's not quite right, quite where I want it. And I'm going to use a. I don't know if I'm going to use that stencil again, but I might. I might. Where is my rosy red? is actually a Lizarin Crimson Hue Series 3 from Utrecht. And we just I just bought this because it was on sale. Only reason I bought it. Yeah, but, we were filling out the order. Yeah. This is when I was letting her buy paint. Yeah. We just went through and looked at what was on sale. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't have a noise, and and like that's one of their selling points. And I was like, oh, that is kind of nice because sometimes mm -hmm. I'm packing orders and stuff later at night, and I needed something that I think it has a certain recycled amount or something like that. That's why it's called the Earth. Isn't hugger. that look how it the air conditioning? See, it is blowing about. See, I need to have a mask on. Somewhat. Um. Where was it going with that? Oh, so shipping certain things to certain countries, I have to make sure that the packaging meets their either a certain recyclable amount or it's like fully recyclable, that sort of thing. So that's why I actually bought that tape. Okay, both of the colors that I use there are semi, 
the one is certainly transparent, but the, the red is semi. So you're still getting the, you're getting a bit of metallic still showing up there. <laughs> and the reason I like using the powders as opposed to liquid paint is because you can control the amount of metallicized paint that you want. And, and it's, it's subtle. It's not, you know, it's not leaping up and grabbing you and strangling you. But like I had to, in order to ship to Germany, I had to sign up. Um, because they have a website there and I had to tell them the types of packaging and everything that I would be using because I think they keep track of that like whenever you're using your um, shipper code stuff and a lot of that has to do when you're shipping it through Etsy but um, we do it both with our regular shipments through our website too just because I mean doing it for one you can do it for the other That, that would be okay, Diane. Sometimes that's the you know, what is it? Just, just being you is th the good stuff. Sometimes that's just about all I can manage. <laughs> See, <laughs> that. that's starting to get yummy, yummy, yummy. My tummy, 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 and we've got some. Let's let's add a little bit more. We're gonna get another. We'll lose our thing, but I think we're going to get an interesting color here if I can get it mixed up in time. Yeah, and that's one of the reasons that like we use all of the glassine bags and everything. Because um, when we very first started, I mean, it, it, it's actually much, much cheaper for us to use a bunch of plastic stuff. But I was just like, ugh. And then um, Mo had mentioned to me, she's like, well, it hasn't really taken place yet, but you may want to look into this. And um, I did, and sure enough, they really did start pushing um, the more recyclable, earth-friendly shipping. Now see how we got some more stuff out of that little bit of stuff on the plate? I think everybody, that that's my way of um, saving the planet. <laughs> saving you know, the I, I don't know if that's everybody else's, but yeah. I really kind of hesitate doing this, but you know, nothing ventured. I think we, we, there is certainly a, a certain demographic here, and I don't think that anybody, uh, yeah. What is it? Uh, so, Diane had said that I think my biggest fear of doing videos would be that my old person, be my old person brain farts. And then there was quite a few people that basically said that, you know, most of us have brain farts. We probably would never notice. <laughs> we would just think it's normal, that's because that's what we do. Okay, now look at this. Oh, that's. That's mucho bueno right there. Some, and we still have wonderful stuff on the plate, but we need to check in with our other plate that has been rendering uh, over here. Over here. <laughs> and we need to get some papel down on top of it. Oh yeah, they like that. Did they like that last one? Mm-hmm. Oh, come on, there we go. All right, here we go. Hey, we have uh, 12 minutes. Oh dear, I'm going to have to rush right along because I won't be able to, oh, I think it's okay. okay. How many minutes? 12. 12. We might go over a slight bit. Okay. Because I do want to read it all to you because it's very heartfelt and um, I, I think it will resonate with a lot of you that are artistic souls. Which one was that? Was that the Lucas Grill? Yes. Okay. Uh, no, I'm sorry, it was not. It was Pebbio. Oh. And, and I, I would have used Lucas, but I'm afraid I'm, I don't have it, had enough and I just want to squeeze a goodly amount out here because even though. Pebbio, Pebbio, Pebbio. Yeah, that one. <laughs> oh, just say it all the way. What is this? Oh goodness. Um, but it, it uh, Carrie had said buttermilk. This is kind of yes. similar. I think you do have buttermilk over there. But. I do have buttermilk in the um, uh, 
Okay, I, you know, you can take off as much of this as you want to. But I want to get a really nice, even... Yes, no lines, please. No lines. And I, I think that the pattern I've got going on here is going to help me in that endeavor. And we're going to use the... Um, What paper pecan? Yes. And for like any of you guys that don't know, um, most of the papers, like the top five that P uses in most streams, they're always listed below in the description box. Now look at that. Very nice. Isn't that beautiful? That is super fun. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, you realize we won't be pulling that today. Yeah. That's going to be one that rests. Um, <clears throat> let me find my... Are we going side by side or do you want me to leave top side or what What do you... What would you like? Um, well, here. I, I kind of need to... Um, need to look at this. Mm -hmm. This is still looking lovely. That's good. <laughs> That's good. I was going to talk about, oh, here, look at these little guys. The guys that, yes. I, I'm going to do one more here in purple. Can you visualize that? One uh -huh. of these little dudes. There. Oh. Yeah. I, I didn't get to that today. Well, you now have plates, like, stacked in with prints. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, too. Yeah, there, yeah. It's just a big mess over here. And mm -hmm. I was watching, I, I, you know... I, you, I don't do journals, and it, it's not because I, it's just because I don't have the attention span for it. Uh, the, the printmaking is my métier. It's because your speed. It, 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 it meets all your needs. It meets all of my needs. I, I, I'm super ADD um, kind of person. I, I have low tolerance for boredom, and I just, I can't do stuff over and over again kind of thing. well unless it's like her little tags or whatever and she's coming back at them for the 50th time that's different it is that's it's totally totally different mm -hmm. all right these thirsty thoughts were written on friday november 4th after reading an article about writing the title of the article was write a sentence as clean as a bone and other advice from james baldwin Hey, let me ask real quick. Do you would you guys rather us be big or do you want to be able to like see the words or stuff? Just pause for a second. They would. Oh, okay. Because I mean, I don't know if they can read it or not, or if it's very exciting to you know look at the words. If they'd rather see your face and you know do all that business. Hi, Tamari. Yeah. Yeah. What? Well, I'm, I'm waiting. Oh. Hold on. You know, remember, there's a little bit of a. A bit of a lag. I'll, I'll take care of my trinket. Okay. You. They, it seems. CP. I like hearing P read it. Go big. Face is big, please. Face. CP. Okay. okay. Sorry, Darcy. <laughs> but they want to see you. All right. I can go big, P cam. And you don't even need to see me. I'll be little. There we go. <clears throat> I wish I could tell you who James Baldwin is. There we go. I did not look up James Baldwin. But obviously he's someone I should know. <laughs> um, and I want to know more intimately because of, of the article. It says, okay. It was from the magazine called Literary Hub and it's online. The Author was Emily Temple, and it was, I think it was, you know, it was very recent. Mm -hmm. November 4th is when I read it. Okay. Quote, one writes out of one thing only, one's own experience, to recreate out of the disorder of life, which is art. James Baldwin. So reading that 
that which I choose to concentrate on and pursue is coming out from my life experience. And as such reflects, mirrors those moments, usually subconsciously, that had the most impact. My childhood, when examined, was one of contrasts, extremely pleasurable or extremely unpleasurable. Reading was how I coped, not only for information about the rest of the how the rest of the world worked. Oh, he's a famous American author, poet, and activist from Harlem. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you for that information. I'm going to read more of his uh, his writings because I, I think communicating is not something that you do without some effort. Thank you. That was right on my shiny yeah. part of my glasses. Okay. <clears throat> Reading was how I coped, not only for information about how the rest of the world worked, but also to build a very detailed fantasy world. How does all that translate in what is today's output onto paper? There will always be that bit of darkness, muddiness, in colors, there will also be a glimmer of light peeking through. Quote, there are cracks in everything. That's how the light gets in. Leonard Cohen. I, I love, I love that. And I love his, his poetry. I love his music. It is significant how often I quote that because recognizing and embracing even the experiences that have shaped and formed this person who I am today is essentially the force that creates the art. Fast forward. Mixed media. Why? Using whatever is needed, desired, to make something happen is both a philosophical survival technique and an approach to making art. Rules number one. Use what you have and make it happen. The only constraint would be lacking or missing connections to what is and what could be. And that pretty much sums it up on not only my philosophy of life, but how it translates into what I produce as art. So if it is a little bit dark sometimes, there's a reason for that. It's all there and you got to make it work. And to use every single experience you have. <clears throat> Want some water? I need a little whiskey. She's I've got, still, she's still I've got on the water, meds, though. I've got water back. Well, when I talk for that long of a time. Mm -hmm. So, um, James Baldwin wrote, uh, Go Tell It on the Mountain. <gasps> so you know. Go Tell It on the Mountain. Oh, I am. Da, 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 da. I, I think that's a... That's a song. Right. I think this is a Well, book. maybe a, they're related. I don't know. I don't know either. Those of you that might know, let us know. James Baldwin. Oh, they would like you to post your information regarding, like, you know, where you find that stuff and all, all that in, in Makers. Oh, Please. this um, literary hub? Yes. Emily Temple? And they want the James Baldwin quote in Makers. I will... Make that happen. I will make that happen. I will write that out for Mariah right now on a sticky note. Well, I take, might take it. Hey, one. you've been doing all your own social media. I have been. You can type it up. I have been. I, I, I've got to go, you know, package orders and things. Well, there you go. She'll be doing that soon. <laughs> and you also need to check your messages because Joni has messaged oh. you with the information that you need regarding my other two people besides so. Gretchen. Yes, yes exactly. Boy, Gretchen, you're losing out, man. I was sending you all three. <laughs> Gretchen was going to get three. So. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes, you know, I, I, I struggle. And the, one of the reasons that I, I, I know that I, I promise I'm going to shut up any minute now, that I struggle with instructions and I never liked crocheting my sister was fabulous at it. She could make all kinds of cool things. And I would be so frustrated 
trying to figure out what they were telling me to do that I just gave up on it. But one day I decided, you know, I'm going to learn how to do one crochet stitch and then I'm going to figure the rest of it out all on my own. That's when I discovered Prudence Mapstone and Freeforming. It opened up this whole world. And I mean, I went crazy. I crocheted, I'm not kidding you, <laughs> scarves for everybody. And they're all weird. <laughs> Mariah has one that we call the pelt. Oh, I love, I love mine. Like, they are so awesome. What but yes, my friends would be like, what is this? Like a pelt? <laughs> like, yeah, it's very Conan. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I'm looking fabulous. <laughs> Talking about. But I have some of them that are so long that you have to oh God. wrap them and around let me your tell head. You, they are 14. not ones that you want to be wearing like somewhere that you have to go to the bathroom and like unwrap and try to figure out where to hold the scarf. Or go through the, the checkout. <laughs> or you need good airport. friends with you that are going to hold your, you know, mile-long scarf. <laughs> while, you, while you pee or puke. <clears throat> yeah. 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 One of those things. Whatever you're doing in the bathroom. Yeah. Absolutely. It's but scarf uh, assistance. Yeah. Pr Prudence was one of those people. <sighs> All right. It's, that, it's time. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you once again for hanging out with us for a Absolutely. Thursday Thoughts. You guys are just so wonderful, and we appreciate each and every one of you hanging out, giving the thumbs the upsies, we doing do. all that business. Be sure to come back. Leave the comments. Let us know which part of the stream was your favorite. Do the little time stampy thing. You'll get entered into the 5,000 subscriber giveaway, which we aren't too far off of. I think it's like 300. Seriously? Yeah. Wow. When did that happen? What was I, I doing? Doing art. Making art. All right, guys. Well, we will oh, see Prince. you either over in Makers or we'll see you back here on Sunday. Bye. Bye.